Hi, my name is Carrie Heydrich and I'm a physical therapist at EW Motion Therapy. In my years of treating patients, I have seen quite a few folks with knee pain with the most common diagnosis of being meniscus injuries. Meniscus injuries can happen in individuals from a 16-year-old football player trying to get back to the game on Friday night to a 70-year-old grandfather just wanting to get back on the pickleball court. We understand how important it is to get back to an activity. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about what the meniscus is, what the meniscus does, and how we treat the meniscus. So the meniscus is actually two C-shaped half crescent type fibrocartilage structures that sit between the femur and the tibia. And they actually act to disperse weight between one bone to the other and absorb forces. And they actually give a little bit of stability to the knee. So injuries to the meniscus are usually classified as acute traumas or degenerative. And our acute traumas are those things that typically happen in sporting events that involve a lot of cutting and pivoting like football, like soccer, like basketball. Degenerative injuries, we're looking at how the knee ages and therefore like how the cartilage also ages and sort of thins over time, which makes it more susceptible to tears in just normal everyday activities. Symptoms of a tear might be something like pain on the inside or outside of your knee or the back of your knee, popping, clicking, the feeling of instability and buckling, and the inability to fully extend or bend your knee because it feels like it's blocked or locked. Treatment of a meniscus tear is going to depend on the severity of your symptoms, your age, and your activity level. Individuals that are highly active and have significant pain or are very limited in their sport or activity that they're doing and that impacts their life may be those candidates that are going to require a surgery. But very often we can treat meniscus tears with conservative treatment, i.e. physical therapy. So oftentimes we use strengthening techniques to restore range of motion. And then we also try to employ techniques that reduce inflammation to treat the tear. So the great thing about the meniscus is the outer one third of it actually gets a pretty good blood supply. So it does have the ability to heal. The inside though, isn't so great. So tears that occur there that are very symptomatic often have to have surgery to fix or alleviate the situation. So usually in those situations, a physician will perform a partial meniscectomy and just cut away the tissue that is impinged or causing pain. So with those patients that have had surgery, we usually see them pretty quickly. We really focus on range of motion with those folks. We really focus on strengthening with those folks and restoring appropriate mechanics with the whole goal being, we get you back to doing what it is that you love and you want to do. So if you have a meniscus injury and you have questions about physical therapy and how it could benefit you, you can click on the link below that will take you to our video, What is Physical Therapy? If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to help you on your physical therapy and wellness journey.